Okay, good news. So, I just finished my cold water line install that goes all the way around the room. So, just finished plumbing all of that in. It's the bottom one, goes over, goes around, and there's no leaks. So we're installed, we're good. Uh, my hot water feed came out of here and it was PEX like this. And that fed my hot water tank. So temporarily I have on my drain down there just a hose that's going up to the uh, flush out. And then I capped off the, um, where it used to come in and just close this valve. So I'm kind of using it backwards, but uh, it works. So yeah, that's, that is great. That's all in. So now when the meter water comes in from the meter, through here, um, as you can tell, we're at 50, 55 PSI. It splits and goes both ways. Now up until now, I've had that valve off, so the water could only go up. And then it could go up and over and, and down and to feed my cold, and then it was coming out and feeding the hot water tank and then coming back. It also was open here over to my outdoor spigot. So this is the driveway, it's a three quarter. This is the back balcony. So in the winter time, I shut these off and this is my irrigation, uh, which is already off for the winter. So um, in the winter time, I can shut these off. I can shut this off. Shut this off. Hook a washing machine up, hose up here and drain the irrigation, the hose bib on the driveway side, and the hose bib on the balcony. Now I have frost proof Silcox on them, but still, I mean, why even have the water in there? So uh, it's supposed to get down to 30, I think, in the next three days, I think Friday night, so we might be draining those sooner than we think. But uh, what I just did right now was I was able to open that and open this one because these were both off allowing water to come in for the first time over to here it tees off and on that bottom one in the back there now this is where it'll enter my new hot water heating system this still needs to get cut and have these two elbows that connect to this so um, all of this it goes over underneath this is going to be a just a drain. It'll go into the sump pit, and then I can open it up to drain the entire thing. Then, uh, it makes a Y up, goes over here, makes another T down to a shutoff, and this is going to be uh, through a dual check valve and into my water backup um, system for my sump pit. So, and then I just have to connect that PVC line. But then I'll have my regular sump pump, and then I'll have my water backup. Uh, sump pump so that'll be good and then of course I can always shut it off if I want and then it comes over here and if I ever want to isolate this I can and drain it from here so I turn it off there turn it off over there and I can still leave the hot water part of things on and work on the cold drain the cold do whatever I want to do uh, without affecting the hot water. So, yeah, we're happy. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. This uh, that valve is dripping. I just gotta tighten tighten that up. But uh, I did I did check all my solder joints. There's no leaks. Yeah, that's dripping out of there. That's an easy fix. And then down here, I'm also at 55, 54 psi. So. Yeah, gonna have to fix that one real quick. So yeah, this turned out good. It's it's solid, and then this one will be next. So the hot will come down, go through there, and the hot will be. I'm sorry, the um, the re hot will actually come in here and turn, and then the hot will either go up or it'll go down. And this is actually the recirculation loop. So it'll go through that recirc pump 
and then back into that chuck valve and then back into the hot water tank so it'll just circulate the tank and then I've already built the two identical manifolds here so of one here one here and one here and they'll all get the same treatment shut off um, gauge and we'll be good to go but yeah all that soldering work I'm not a plumber so it was uh, it was really exciting to turn this on and not have water blowing out of joints so cool thanks for watching